Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today, we're gonna to be continuing, trying out a bunch of different formats on Arena. There's a bunch of metagame challenges that are gonna be coming up in March. Uh, we have Standard, Historic, Explore, and then Alchemy, it's not Alchemy, um, Timeless is, uh, I think, the first week of April. There's also an Alchemy uh, Qualifier Weekend, so we're gonna be covering a bunch of different decks, formats, stuff like that. And Historic has been somewhat relegated behind Timeless. And we want to try out some ideas, see what can work. And we got Smuggler's Copter. With Smuggler's Copter, we have the now return to its original state, Diviner Fates. So when it enters the battlefield, you connive. And then whenever you discard one or more cards, you seek a card that shares its type, triggers once per turn. But with Smuggler's Copter, it's really cool because you can discard the card and then just seek the card. So you're never kind of netting down card advantage. So we're playing it in kind of a disruptive Esper shell. We have um, like Esper Sentinel's attacks, Deep Cavern Bat, as well as Juggernaut Peddler as kind of Thoughtseize effects that can also crew the Copter. And then we're playing a Grease Fang package. So notably, Sentinel or the Copter can be uh, discarded to Divine Our Fates that can then search up Parhelion potentially. And then the Parhelion could also be ditched and then find you these cards. So it's all kind of synergy within the deck. Liliana's Bitter Triumphs are ways we can discard the copy of Parhelion in hand along with a Kaido and then a Callum just as another discard enabler that can kind of be a free way to get a big creature into play. Uh, Mana Base, just a bunch of Esper lands, Phyrexian Scrapyard as another discard enabler. Um, in the sideboard, general first take, Hand Hate with Thoughtseize, we got another Liliana for control. Bunch of hate pieces, needle for activated abilities, stone for like the yog matchups, graph diggers cage notably does not stop uh, your um, your perhelion just as creatures or cast spells. You're not casting spells; it returns an artifact into play. So you kind of get around that way. Get lost as removal. That's kind of flexible. We have fracture. I wanted a way to hit artifacts, enchantments, and planeswalkers, and then leyline of the void for kind of the graveyard centric decks of the format. What we might want is a pivot plan. If there is a lot of graveyard hate, how do we pivot off it? Because as well, against mono green, Karn shuts off some of the, the deck as well. So things to consider as we're going to try out the, the games. We're going to see how it plays out, see if we can make a last little minute run in the historic format. Where is my deck? Where is my deck? Ratcopter. So we're trying out things. Today alone, I did a alchemy video uh, going over some of the decks for the qualifier weekend that you could try out we tried out a best of one deck as well uh, that'll be up there a nice gruel ring burn deck that felt pretty sweet we tried out some more timeless decks so we're, we're trying out everything we want to see you know not just the stock list for the event so we'll play first this is a keep we can go sentinel into copter into potentially Diviner, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, probably go Copter on two, since I can crew it off the Deep Cavern Bat. That could potentially find us the land as well. Black, white, probably humans. Yeah, especially because we drew the land here. I think we start with attacking. We'll just go Smuggler's Copter here. Hold this for now. They have priority. They most likely have a Fatal Push. It's what they're deciding. I will gladly take a card draw here. Them pushing that is pretty solid for us. Uh... I think this turn we actually bat here. I just want to see what we're playing against. Because if they have another fatal push here, then I can crew up. Oh geez, a lot of fatal pushes. Um, Bro, 
probably hmm. the triple fatal push draw against us is kind of nuts. So they just fatal push anyway, so it's do I want to expose it this turn? I think we just pass. Because they'll fatal push here, but depending what they do mana wise. So like the worst case is they draw white land because that enables the reprieve. So this is likely a Sorn combo. So I actually don't want a Liliana here. I think this turn we're just gonna divine her. If I get like Esper Sentinel. Okay, I did hit another Copter, which is nice. So next turn I can double spell. Uh, I can crew here, but I don't want to let them use their mana this turn. All right, well, we got a Tommy, uh, a spammy sp Sam. I think we do this. They haven't shown removal, plus I have a couple ways to crew. So opponents on like vampire combo, they're on the blood gas, so I don't want Liliana. Um I would assume they're on the Soren plan. I think we want Thought Seize, we want Get Lost, Fracture. I think it might be too early to name like we could trim on maybe like one Parhelion, one Grease Fang, just trim along the edges here. Kalim's probably worse if they're graveyard centric, it also doesn't go into grave. Uh, fracture we do want probably trim on one copter as well the question is do i want needle they had a lot of fatal pushes could probably trim on one and just play a needle just kind of go like that once we get a better idea if we see the soren then i'll uh i'll bring in the, the next needle Okay. And it looks reasonable. Interesting they chose to bring Thought Seize against us. We have Double Peddler here. Okay, so if we could find an out, uh, like a Grease Fang, can you target yourself? Uh, exiles though.
opponent really likes the nice button. Like they play Thoughtseize against us. Soren and Kalidas. We're gonna get rid of Soren, it's the hardest to kill. It also represents like two bodies. Probably get rid of Kalidas next. Give him the nices back. Um, I think this turn, because I can copter, I don't think we necessarily want to hit anything. I could take them off their, like, curve. I do kind of want to get copter going. I think we do that. The Fatal Push is a little awkward here. That's a good draw. Um, I think I want to do it like this. We'll discard Push. Potentially hit a removal spell here. So they have Reprieve, Preacher, Preacher, Kalidas. Since they're on the double Preacher, okay, they've had enough. Opponent hates discard, yet plays Thoughtseize. I guess we could play Reprieve ourselves, but I think I like the more proactive plays. Kalidas is actually an interesting one to bring in against Yogg. Like, they could kind of get around it, but it attacks at a different angle. It's reasonable against Wizards. That might be something we want to try out in ours. That's an interesting consideration. Like, I, I haven't been keeping up with Historic as closely, like in some of the games, just to see like how much... I know Yogg's very po powerful. I don't know how representative it is. Play first. Uh, we'll mulligan this. We can't play our first two spells. We'll keep this one. Put away a Lily. We do need a land here. Keep this option open. Okay, so this is likely Yogg or humans. I think we just take this out, slows them down a bit. Come on, give me a land. Give me a land. Give me a land. 22 lands. One time. Oh, it is Yogg. Perfect. Um, I think since we have two Grease Fangs, we do that. Here we Liliana get the discard going because if we could find Parhelion, then I can discard it to Liliana. That's not bad for next turn. We'll hold back because otherwise they can push in some damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they can start going wide. And they do have the Haywire Might, so... It is a bit scary. Um, I think we do this.
This card here. Could Juggernaut them. Want to try to find Parhelion here? Take it. That's a really good hit. They're going to get Yogg otherwise. Um, I could attack in... They could get the young wolf back. But the more damage we put on them, the harder it's going to be because one of their lands is mana confluence. Two lands are mana confluence. So we'll get rid of Peddler here. So here... I think we just set up the Grease Fang and pass the turn. Next turn I could Kalim tap this down and then I can alt Liliana. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so Yogg. Yogg, we want the Ley Lines. We want Cage, we want Needle, we want Stone. Liliana was fine there, but I don't think it's something we want. I actually think the Deep Cavern Bat's a bit of a liability against Yogg. Probably want to trim on Copters. Get Lost could be reasonable. They themselves are probably going to bring in Graveyard Hate. So maybe we trim. I could bring in Thoughtseize. Like it's probably fine to have Thoughtseize. Kaido helps me loot. It's also like an unblockable, but it gets hit by Yogg. So maybe we cut the Kaido. Liliana doesn't do much in this matchup. Bitter Triumph's fine. This goes over the top, which I like. Probably get rid of Kalim. Like two Thoughtseize. Sentinel's actually pretty bad. Let's go up all the thought sees. Let's go you. And maybe just a couple bats. It's an interesting one. How we want to attack this. I actually think it's fine to try to find Leyline. Put back Takanuma here. Love a two drop here. Uh, rope line's a good start for them. So depending what they cast, we'll Fatal Push it. Ah, I should have hit Hapatra. I was worried about the Convoke. We get rid of Peddler here. It's a very good start.
We have the copter. I think here. I can discard the land. I could discard another diviner. Actually, I'm going to discard the copter because it gives us access to two looks at artifact hate pieces. Okay, so we didn't hit it there. So in this case, I'm just going to play that. Say go. I'll do this, discard this, and then try to find one of our hate pieces. We want like cage or needle or something like that. We got three looks out of hate piece. Cage is good. And just pass the turn here. Next turn I can go Kaido. Juggernaut Peddler and No, I have six mana. Oh, and we drew the Stone of Erich. Um, we got him locked out a couple different ways. I want to try to find Grease Fang here. Got it. Okay, this is actually like super sick. My buddy and I were working on this deck, so I want to send it to them. Let them know it's uh, doing what it needs to do. Absolutely dumpstered. Dumpstered. We'll do one more with this. It's pretty sweet, like just finding your hate pieces like that. You can kind of tutor them up. I do. I do think I maybe want to try. Even um, Kaya. Because if in like matchups like that, like Exile 1 CMC could be super reasonable. Also hits the graveyards. I'm going to try that over a needle. Because then we kind of go from there. Okay, I'm going to try that out. Because it's decent against wizards as well. Alright, TTMTG. Play first. You know, I'm going I'm to be a mad lad. We're going to draw a line. We're going to draw a line, I believe. Tell me you believe. Land. Never didn't have it. It's 
probably ninjas. Could be in soul. We'll go deep cavern next turn, see what they have. Got a reader. Uh, it's probably just like budget, mono blue, and soul. Could just be ninjas then. Um. gonna do this. I can crew the sentinel to block the moon circuit hacker. Alright, cool. Mono blue shitters. Oh, that's beautiful. Can't even see my deck. Um, get lost. Kaya could be reasonable. Our Helion's like the fair plan, so it's still fine. It's kind of just like, is it removal? Yes, no. I'm probably just going to cut these Esper Sentinels. Trim two. I don't think... I guess like Sentinel's better than nothing. It's a blocker. Probably don't want three Lilianas. Do it like that. Copter could be reasonable because it's a flyer at least, but I think as long as we're answering, just try to kill everything as it comes down. Kill, bat, figure out Parhelion. Mm. For when they ninja, I'll kill their ninja ninjutsu threat. Okay, so they solve that. Go to our turn. So I could Sentinel. I think we just passed the turn here. Could also just exile the case. That doesn't actually hit anything. I'm missing a second block, so I don't particularly want to do that right now. So I can Kaya exile this. They hit a lion, they can do that, but I just block with Esper Sentinel. And then next turn I can discard Parhelion potentially. You know what, Esper, you did your job. So they will get to discover here. So let 
let's start off with this. It might have counterspell, but this prevents the... Okay, so they use Rebuke here. Siren here. Don't have an answer for this yet. So the question is, do I... I do think I have to block here. Do I? Or maybe not. Kaya's done what she needs to do. We'll poke in here. So I could Kalim on their turn, tap down this. And then hopefully draw into Grease Fang. And then I can Deep Cavern Bat and get around the Metallic Rebuke. I'm going to pay here. So I have this to get this. I also have this Bitter Triumph that I can discard Parhelion. Oh. Easily done. So this deck felt solid. Attacks on a lot of different angles, a lot of card advantage, card selection. You're able to play a lot of powerful hate pieces. All in all, really impressed with the deck. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. We'll catch you next time. See you later.